Number two of the seven final Dodge Hemi cars has been revealed. This time we get a Charger model that is actually different from any version we have ever seen before. And this is one addition that will be worth getting. The Super B packs a punch by giving you a budget Superstock Charger with some other goodies, which makes you wonder if this will be the only drag spread Charger to come. But what if I told you Dodge T's an even faster drag spread Charger during a Never Live presentation and that this Super B Charger is just the beginning. So let's go over the most powerful Super B ever and the Super Stock Charger that owners have been missing. The 2023 Charger Super B will come in a limited 1,000 units just like the Challenger Shakedown Edition with the same stipulations on color and wide body configurations. You can only get 500 Super B Scat Packs in B5 Blue and 500 Super B Wide Body Scat Packs in Plum Purple. And just like I said in my video with the Shakedown, if you want a wide body in B5 Blue, you can get a wide body kit from Direct Connection for a couple of grand. I'll throw up on the screen the list of features you can get with the Super B. Now remember, you cannot order any of the foundation cars, so you can't pick the colors, you can't pick wide body, you can't pick narrow body. And this car will only come with the plus group and carbon pieces and suede package. So no driver convenience group, no Mopar appearance group, no navigation group, no technology group, no sunroof. The Super B Scat Pack Final Edition comes pretty light on packages compared to the Challenger Shakedown but it do get some things like drag radios, 18 inch wheels, four piston Brembos, and an active dampening the suspension, similar to what you find in the Super Stock Challenger and the Demon. Another thing to note is that if you get the Super B in B5 Blue, you will not get the 18 inch wheels from the Super Stock. Instead, you'll get the 20s from the Scat Pack. Dodge doesn't make a narrow body Super Stock, so you cannot get 18s. Even the 1320 Challenger had to run with 20s with drag spec tires. Based on information on the screen, it looks like the narrow body Super B will keep the smaller full piston brakes. So if you choose to go with the wide body kit and you decide to downgrade to wider 18 inch wheels, you still have plenty of clearance. The Super B also get the Hellcat hood with hood pins and white Super B logos. I'm surprised they didn't go with black graphics, but white graphics and drag radios will make the plum pupper version stand out. And apparently the B5 blue version would be more stealthy because it has blue graphics instead. Solana didn't release any photos of the B5 Blue graphics, so I can't show you them at the moment or even any interior pictures. So maybe this edition is still pending some last minute changes. As far as pricing, it's going to be hard to figure out. With the Shakedown Challenger, it was basically a fully loaded scat pack shaker with graphics, which you can build on a configurator for 2022 to see its eye-watering Hellcat price. This car on the other hand, we have no idea how Dodge is going to price all the super stock parts that this Charger Super B will get, but this car will easily cost over $60,000. Just looking at the configurator for a 2022 Charger with the same packages Dodge says they're going to put on it, we have an MSRP of 59 k If I look at the configurator for the differences between a Red Eye and a super stock, we should be pretty close to how Dodge would charge for the super stock parts. We are looking at a $3,000 difference, and that should take the Charter Super B Scat Pack to around 62 k without adjusting for a 2023 price increase. So I'm thinking 64 65 k is where we'll see this addition, which we're currently slotted at about $10,000 over a base Scat Pack wide body and about $14,000 less than a Hellcat wide body charger. I think we can all agree no one would get a fine edition car for no less than 65 k regardless of what edition it is. If we thought the Z06 dealer markups were insane, I can only imagine how much these Dodd dealers are going to charge for all these final edition cars. Just saying. I am questioning though why the 5.6 Hemi is getting no love from Dodge. The Shakedown and Super B could have at least 500 units each designed for the 5.7 Hemi RT cars for people to get into a final edition at a cheaper price. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, that greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Greed is right. Greed works. And even with the Super B Scat Pack version, why not bring back Yellow Jacket for a limited 500 runs 
to make those cars very, very rare. The only 500 cars painted in 2023 in Yellow Jacket would make those cars very valuable. But other than no Yellow Jacket or 5.7 Hemi Final Editions, I think this is a great final edition to get your hands on because it'll stand out and it has features that no Charger has ever had before. Now I want to point out this Easter egg from Dodge's Never Lift promo video. I made this video a while back about Dodge making a super stock charger for 2023 as a final edition. And in that video, I caught out how Dodge has skipped over a charger with every drag spec version they have given the Challenger, from the 1320, the Super Stock, and the Demon. So now that Dodge has given the Super B parts from the Challenger Super Stock, from the wheels, to the brakes, to the added suspension, a Hellcat version with Super Stock parts seem very, very likely now for the Charger. We don't know if the final two editions under the car covers are going to be two Challenger models or one Challenger and one Charger model. But we don't have very long to figure out if this car will be behind one of those last garage doors and under the covers. It's funny how all the garage doors are about to open, even though we said 14 months ago before the current car to discontinued in 2023. So I'm going to end this video right here for the Charger Super B. I think it'll be a great car to get for someone who can't afford a Hellcat and wants a super start like car that'll look different. Kind of odd Dodge wouldn't bring back Yellow Jacket for the Super B and would have been very cool for owners who own older versions to have all of them the same color. To finally get drag spec parts for the Charger is way overdue and honestly should have had it the same time Dodge was making the 1320 and Super Stock Challengers. I think this is a great looking addition with the Hellcat hood and hood pins making it look more aggressive, 18 inch wheels and tires to let you know this car means business. I just wish we could have seen the interior because Dodge never revealed in a press release what color stitching that the plum purple and the B5 Blue Super B would get. I assume there will be red stitching but we'll find out later. And I just wish the final edition cars already had stage kits pre-installed. These cars are straight up money grabs for Dodge and dealers, but to sweeten the pot of spending all this Hellcat money for scat packs, we could at least get one or two stage kits installed. Who knows when we'll ever see stage kits, but Dodge, you can at least make the last few thousand final edition cars as shining examples of the Red Connection stage kit performance. That's all we heard during Speed Week, that we can get Challenger body and whites, 200k Charger bodies, the Hornet GLH kit, 9 power levels for the Banshee, we can at least get these final edition cars with stage kits pre-installed. All these final editions will be pricey, and I think this one will be very, very sought after. And good luck to you guys that's going to fight for it. For everyone else that has their fingers crossed for a Charger Superstock, you can check out this video right here where I broke down the Easter eggs at the end of the Never Live promo video. And until the next time, I'm out. <laughs>